Sorry to interrupt the intro, but uh, I had to get a shot of this, didn't I? Just look at that, it's beautiful. Literally just two minutes from where we parked up. There's this uh, slight bit of temperature version um, appearing. And what really made us uh, stop was obviously this road on the left-hand side just leading through through this beautiful valley and this beautiful warm light there in the clouds there. Um, so I'm, I was at about 24 mil, I've moved right over towards the wall because I didn't want the wall in the frame. I'm um, just going for a nice sort of slightly telephoto shot, road leading in, touch of these really dark clouds above in the frame as well. Um, but as soon as we've, we've set up, the, the, the mist here has started to dissipate quite a bit. So yeah, I think I managed to just catch it in time. So I'm going to put this on screen, but what we're doing this morning is we're heading over here up uh, Twi Twizzleton Scar. That's a real difficult thing to say this time in the morning. <laughs> but uh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful, crisp morning. No wind, I've got a lovely colour in the sky now. Yeah, this is why we do it. Steve lied to me, he said it would be a really easy walk up somewhere, a nice gradual walk. It wasn't, it was a bloody killer. Um, so yeah, we're right onto the top of Twizzleton Scar now, and it is absolutely beautiful, it really is. Um, yeah, speaking to Ginger Captures yesterday and speaking to Steve as well, I can see why they love this place, it's absolutely beautiful. I've just taken 10 minutes here really just to sit and chill, relax, try and get my head in the game really. Um, yeah, just take it all in. I do find that's the best thing to do when you get to a location like this. You know, just take 10, 15 minutes out, just soak it in before you start looking for any compositions, just get your head in the game. Yeah, so, nicely rested. Let's go and see if we can find some compositions. So from where I was sitting, I was sitting by this tree just here and uh, yeah, already the first shot in the bag. I just did it handheld because the sun's right up now and I've got quite strong light. So um, I came back from the tree quite a bit to get this limestone in. I just love the way it kind of sweeps round uh, in towards the tree. I've got the tree on the right hand third uh, and I've got the shadow of the tree as well in the background there. It's quite a nice scene. I just got a little bit low just to make sure that the branches that were at the bottom there uh, weren't intersecting with the, the sort of limestone paving here. Um, they are intersecting with in the background quite a bit, but that's quite misty, so it's not too bad. Um, so yeah, quite a nice basic shot to start off with. I'll pop that one on the screen. There's another tree just over there I'm going to have a look at, which Steve was photographing a moment ago. And uh, just going to spend quite a bit of time here, somewhere I've never been before. I'm not expecting great images today, with the light the way it is, but we'll work with it. I'm possibly thinking black and white with some of these photos as well, because the light is quite harsh, as I say. Uh, but yeah, I'll know more when I get back in post. But Black and white seems to be, yeah, what I'm hearing towards at the moment. So, I'm gonna head up that way and find some more compositions. All right, so I have taken another shot now. I've come over to this other tree here and uh, shooting towards the sun. I've shot it handheld because the sun is right up now. 
and trying to get a tripod set up and amongst this limestone pavement is a bit of a challenge to be honest with you. But um, did a portrait in orientation with this kind of leading line of these cracks of this uh, limestone leading through to the tree. And there's this piece of jagged uh, limestone which looks different to all the other ones with a tiny little bit of moss on top of it, which I thought was quite nice. I put that on the bottom right hand third um, and then basically the tree is just filling up the entire kind of top third of the frame. Quite nice, the only issue I've got is the tree is very low to the ground, so I'm not able to get any separation with the background, so I'm not sure that's gonna work entirely. Um, but we'll have a look when we get back into post. But as a composition, I do quite like it. I just don't know if it works today with all the leaves that are on the tree there. Um, there's a few, I'm gonna probably hang around this tree for a little bit though. Just walk around, see if I can find some other compositions. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's a bit precarious walking on this stuff. People have warned me, so you just, you gotta take your time and just be really careful because you can very easily break an ankle here. So I'm not really sure what I was thinking with this photo. Uh, as I suspected in the video, it just doesn't work. The separation between the tree and the background just isn't there and it just makes it look chaotic and the tree gets completely lost. I do still like the foreground. I think it's got a lot of merit to it and maybe this would work on a foggy day when you get that separation between the tree and the background, but just not today. So anyway, back to the video. So I framed up another image here of the same tree I was photographing a moment ago. I've just kind of come round 90 degrees. And uh, yeah, what really drew me to the scene was a lovely leading line of this limestone pavement towards the tree. Um, but I have some issues with it, which I'm going to talk you through on the camera now. So yeah, I'm shooting at 24 mil. I've had to come quite a bit back from the tree. Um, but basically, yeah, this is a very similar to scene, scene to what I was shooting. And uh, from here, it's kind of nice. If we go to about there, you've got a lovely leading line just going through here towards the trees. But the issue I've got is there's just no separation at the bottom of this tree here with the limestone pavement at the background there. So I can get around that by coming lower. If I drop that down, you can see I get a lovely bit of separation there. But the issue that in, then introduces is we lose this leading line here. So I have taken both images. Um, I won't really know back in post how bad this separation issue is here. To me on the back of the camera, it doesn't look too bad at the minute, but I'm looking at a tiny screen. So uh, yeah, one to look back in post. I will put both on screen and uh, yeah, let me know which one you prefer. So I've walked over to the other side of Twisterton Scar now. I still can't say that very well, can I? Um, and came across this tree, which I think I may have saw, it was either in Steve's or Darren's video. I think it may have been Darren's. And uh, yeah, it's basically a broken tree, um, split kind of halfway in the middle, which is actually making a lovely frame for Ingleborough in the background there. Um, I've taken two images, one in portrait and one in landscape. Um, and incorporating a rock uh, down here almost as a bit of a foreground interest just to add that little extra element it just kind of frames the bottom of the image if that makes sense it's worked out quite nice i've had to be really really cautious with this um, again handheld because where i'm sitting right now on this piece of limestone pavement um, trying to get a tripod in place is just the right faff <laughs> so shooting at f16 uh, to try and get everything in sharp from front to back and shooting at 24 mil. I could really do with an ultra wide angle lens here, to be honest with you, something like a 16 to 35, but I don't have one. So just making do with what we have. Um, yeah, 
But yeah, I love the way that the, um, the tree branch here kind of frames the ridge of Ingleborough there. I mean, I've got some lovely clouds in the background as well. I think this is quite a nice image, to be honest with you. Um, so I'll put both on screen. And uh, yeah, I've, I'm pretty much still in the top tier, if you like, of uh, Twizzleton Scar. Steve's gone down to one of the lower tiers, so I'm not going to have a look down there. Have seen quite some, well, have seen some quite cool looking trees um, already. So yeah, just fit in my boots really. I found another shot that I think I really like involving this tree here. Um, I've been trying to frame the composition really for probably about half an hour now. Probably spent far too long on it. But what I do like is just down here, you probably can't really work it out. There's almost like this arrow sort of shape leading into this tree here. And you're sort of balancing the tree with uh, Ingleborough on the right hand side of the frame and the upper sort of tier of the limestone pavements there, just balancing against each other. It's quite nice. But some of the things I had to contend with was getting my tripod down on this limestone pavement and also this bloody <laughs> hawthorn bush. Um, I think it's hawthorn anyway. Uh, it was getting in the way, so I had to hold back some of the branches just to try and get the shot. But uh, I think it's going to pay off because the light is quite nice as well. Lovely touch of light there over on Ingleborough. Um, yeah, I'll put it on screen. Let me know what you think. Um, Ginger's tree is this one over here. You've probably seen that one quite a few times recently if you watch his channel or Steve's. Um, I'm going to have a look at that and see if I can frame something up. Uh, yeah, but the, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful morning. We've got a lot more clouds in now, which is just softening the light a little bit, which is quite nice. Um, yeah, I feel very relaxed, very relaxed. Although it's a nightmare walking across this pavement. In fact, the pavement's not so bad, it's the grass because obviously under the grass is, is limestone pavement and it just looks like grass you're walking along and all of a sudden you lose your footing. But uh, yeah, just being very careful. When you're lost and no one's there And you wonder who even cares oh, Come back to your breath Don't drift away from me to Ginger's tree now and I framed up an image uh, with Ingleborough pretty much in the arch of the tree. I think it's similar to uh, Ginger Capture's um, composition, I'm not too sure. Um, but, but by coming back a little bit from the tree and shooting at around 50 mil, I'm able to bring uh, Ingleborough in a bit closer using a bit of compression. Um, it's quite a nice frame. What I've done though, because I'm at 50 mil, um, I'm having to focus that even at F16. So I've taken uh, two images, uh, one for the foreground and then one focusing on the background. I've been sitting here for about 20 minutes now just waiting for the clouds to pass through because a moment ago it was completely shrouded in cloud but now it's started to come through and it looks quite nice. So, um, And there's just a nice little bit of soft light which I think is going to work really really well here. Um, but there's this sort of branch coming in from the bottom right hand and it's leading through to obviously the main part of the tree as I say and then framing um, Ingleborough there. So it's a, it's a very nice photo, I think. 
Um, so I'm going to put this on screen now and I think I'm going to go and try and find Steve because uh, if I'm honest with you, I'm just knackered. <laughs> it's, uh, it's been a long weekend. So um, if I see any photos on the way back uh, to try and find Steve, I'll stop and talk you through them. Um, but uh, yeah, nice up here. I'm just very, very tired. We can fly Steve rounded me up with his drone. <laughs> um, yeah, back to pretty much where we started this morning. As I mentioned back there, I'm absolutely shattered. Walking across this, uh, this limestone pavement, it really does take it out of you. <laughs> uh, I don't think I've got anything particularly fantastic this morning, but still, it's been a great morning. Absolutely fantastic. It's somewhere I'm gonna come back to definitely in the future. Um, yeah, just to, it was nice to get a, bit, a sort of feel for the area and see what sort of compositions are around. There's loads out there. Um, just finding them. So, as I say, going to end it here. Um, as I say, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you soon.